All right, what is up guys? Back with another video. Uh, and as I've been testing the the Ray 32 ESCs and the Emacs Formula ESCs, people sometimes will be asking on like YouTube or on Facebook, like are those ESCs high enough current rating for crawlers? And you know, like the Ray 32 is a 35 amp ESCs. These are drone ESCs. And so, you know, that I, I gather that people have the wrong idea about how much current a crawler actually generates. So I ordered this cheap inline current meter on Amazon. And if I push this button, watt hour amps. So it has like a peak function, so it'll show like the peak amp draw. So I ordered this inline current meter. It's just plugged into the lipo back here and then plugged into the, uh, the Wraith 32. ESC down there and so we're just gonna do a couple of quick tests drive it around and see how many amps a crawler actually generates this is with the um, Ride S 1850 kV on uh, 4 cell so whenever people ask me or whenever people talk about like lipos like because this is gonna affect like C rating and stuff like that so people when people talk about lipos or ESCs you know, given just given based how long the lipos last, so this is an 850 milliamp hour 4S, which that lasts me 45 minutes of trigger time. That's like on throttle, which works out to about like two hours of actually crawling. I knew based on that, that crawlers can't be generating much more than 10 amps. And I don't think people realize that. So we're just gonna show it. So if we start crawling in sign mode, You'll see that we're at about 1.5 amps. And then when it switches to normal mode, it actually goes down. Was that 20? Point, point 0.2 amps. So sign mode actually generates a lot more current than normal mode at low throttle. And then I've got my traction board here. Let me lower this a little bit. So then if we go up the uh, traction board, You know, this is putting a little bit more strain on the motor. We're at, in sign mode, we're at 1.39. And then in normal mode, we're at about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So that's, you know, under two amps for like slow crawling. And then, Let's see, we'll drive it over here to like, no, we'll take it outside, one sec. All right, so we'll just try to simulate some crawling right here. Oh, look, it's jammed up. It was pulling, it was at about one amp. So even crawling, we're still at about 1.5 amps. So far the peak is 1.6. So, and I'm stuck right now and it's still at about 1.5. I know you probably can't see that, but. So here, let me launch it off of this thing. So that's full throttle on 4S. And we peaked at it about 7.35 amps so 7 amps full throttle hold this for 2 seconds to reset it alright let's uh, let's get like a long full throttle run Ten point three amp sustained full throttle, so that's that's kind of about what I figured. I, I figured it had to be somewhere around five or ten amps. So 
you know, unless you're running like, and again, this is an 1850 kV motor. As your motor kV goes up, your your current draw is going to go up, obviously. Um, but if you're geared appropriately, then everything should be kind of relative. I'm running a 12 tooth pinion on this guy with the uh, F10 axles, which are geared pretty tall to start. And you know, if I was running like a 1600 kV motor, I'd probably go up to like a 15 tooth and you know, it would, it would all be around the same. The point is the current draw on a rock crawler, if you're rock crawling, is really low. So the current rating of your ESC does not matter. That's why these drone ESCs work so well. And the C rating of your LiPo doesn't matter at all. Uh, cause 10 amps, that's, I mean, you could probably run a lithium ion battery, like a vape battery, and um, it would be fine. You would just get longer runtime and it'd be a little heavier, but like the point is crawlers, like they generate almost nothing for current. All right, guys, uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, just, uh, just one more quick test because I know people are going to ask about, like, what about when it's under load? Let me reset this. Okay, so I'm going to drag my 6S Notorious. If you know anything about a Notorious, they're like, they're like 10 or 12 pounds. Um, so we'll use that to simulate load. I, I did get it bound up outside on like the garden bricks but it didn't really do anything so we're just gonna pull this notorious it's peaked at 1.3 amps now it's stuck So it pulled the Notorious over the lip of the board and it still only peaked at 1.3 amps. Alright guys, thanks for watching.